Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Thursday, May 9th, 2024, and I am coming on here with the first wings update for May, as well as thank you gifts for April. So pay attention if you donated in April, and that includes this video, because I have some April donations. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose, I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot and I make stitch markers. So please go check out my Etsy shop. It is linked down below in the description box. If you could favorite the shop and favorite a few items, it really does help me out a whole lot and I do appreciate it. So uh, I live here in the Chicago area. I have one daughter, her nickname is Carrots like the vegetable. And I have one rescue dog. His name is Camo. So for this year and the past couple years, you guys have been helping me with a domestic violence organization that is also based here in the Chicago area called Wings. All the links for Wings will be down below in the description box. And there are actually quite a few playlists on my channel if you want to go back and see <clears throat> any of the videos from this year or, or previous years, there are playlists for all of those videos. So during the pandemic, uh, Wings was one of the only organizations I could find at the time that would accept handmade donations, and they are still accepting them. And I know that uh, it's pretty easy now for people to find local organizations that will accept handmade donations, um, but you guys are still helping me out here with Wings, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, so I do encourage you to donate locally if you can. Make sure you contact the organization before you just drop off some stuff that they might not need. Um, yeah, so uh, there is a list it, down below in the play, in the description box, and it's also a pinned announcement in the Facebook group of all the items that they're asking for and which month they are asking for them, and it makes sense. So uh, yeah, so go and check that out. So I will tell you that we have some stragglers here because, uh, what is today, the 9th? I think some of the stuff I picked up last week. <laughs> so I have some donations still from April, which were fidget toys. Uh, worry worms and stress balls. Um, so don't send any more of those because I'm getting ready to deliver those this Saturday. And then for May, which is this month, they were asking for um, hair scrunchies, headbands, which are like fancy headbands, not the ear warmers that you use in the winter time, and makeup bags. And there was a limit of two per person on that. And then for June, I believe they're asking for diaper bags, so you can send up to two per person. And then July, which is my favorite month, is doll clothes. So go check out the list below. Um, the PO box where you send them to is also linked down below in the description box. And I think that's it for admin stuff. Um, we are also, you'll see in these packages that there are some washcloths. And actually, Wings is not collecting washcloths, but I have a friend, a local friend, her name is Paula, and she is collecting washcloths for a uh, local organization here called We Pop Up, and it is linked down below in the description box. Now, um, they collect washcloths, I think, for, they do these donations twice a year. So it, you can send washcloths anytime that you want throughout the year. There is no limit. You could do any size, any color, knit, crochet, however you want to do it. And then I also have the gentleman that I um, volunteer with at Wings. <laughs> His name is Craig. He doesn't watch. Um, Paula watches, but hi, Paula. And uh, he is also asking for washcloths, but not for Wings. He also um, puts together uh, hygiene bags for a homeless organization that is also based here in Northern Illinois. So uh, he asked me for 500 washcloths. So if you just have it in your heart to send some washcloths, that's awesome. Um, all of the washcloths that I've received so far, I have given to Paula. So starting with today, unless it says that it wants that you want the washcloths to go to We Pop Up, I will start keeping track of how many washcloths I give to Craig because he did he only asked for 500. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, so at the end of every month, I do thank you gifts. And the thank you gifts are, are our way, ours, meaning mine and the rest of our subscribers here on this channel, of thanking anyone who actually donated to Wings. And I have thank you gifts that were donated by other people, other subscribers. <laughs> so I have thank you gifts to give away for people who donated in April. And that includes all the packages that you see here today, because I'm counting this as April. Um, so I have uh, a very fancy 
random number picker and uh, her name is Carrots. <laughs> and she, I told her how many, how many donations I had for the month of April. And I said, pick six random numbers from one to I think 24 is what we had. So she told me six random numbers. So that's my fancy random number picker. So I am going to announce the, the thank you gifts here first before I go into donations. And I have 10 donations today. Now, you will have one week if I say your name to send me an email, roselikescrochet at gmail.com, and you have to send me um, what you won and your shipping address because out of the thank you gifts, there's only two that I'm actually sending out from my house. Otherwise, they're being sent out from other people. Okay, so the first winner is going to get a goodie box from Diane who is a subscriber and friend of the channel. And let me see who the winner was. The winner was Barb from Illinois. So Barb, send me an email. The second uh, thank you gift is from Melanie Crochets and I will link her um, Etsy shop. She is live again on Etsy and has the most adorable crochet earrings. So she's gonna send someone, I think one or two pairs of crochet earrings. And the winner for the earrings is Sheila from Pennsylvania. Then we have a project bag from my stash. I didn't make the project bag, but it's a project bag that I have in my stash. The winner of the project bag is Terry from Maryland. And then, you know, I make stitch markers. So I have a set or um, a package of four stitch markers that have already been picked out. And the winner of the stitch markers is Bet, B-E-T-T-E -T -T -E, from California. And then we have Romaine, a friend of our channel, um, who is going to donate a Furls crochet hook. And the winner of that crochet hook is Kay from Alabama. You know who you are, Alley Cat. And then the last um, thank you gift for April donations was uh, is something from Rochelle at EJ's Daughter. She is making Notions bags uh, for um, one winner for every month. So the winner of the Notions bag from uh, EJ's Daughter is Joe from Arizona. So those are the winners for the April uh, thank you gifts. So if you can please uh, send me an email and let me know what you won and your shipping address and today is the 9th, so you will have until the 16th. Otherwise, the prizes are forfeited and they get rolled over until I don't know when. Okay, <laughs> are you guys ready? We have 10 donations to get through today. Uh, the first one that I have here is from Ashley, and she is from Wyoming. And she actually has a channel here on YouTube. It's called Casually Crafted. So I will link her down below in the description box so you, can, you guys can go check her out. Um, she has like, she's so talented and you guys, she has like three little kids. <laughs> I don't know how she does all the stuff she does. Anyway, okay, so she left me a note. By the way, you guys, um, if you can leave a note in your package, it doesn't have to be on any fancy paper or card or whatever. Um, if you know like the pattern that you used for your items, if you know what yarn, um, if you have a cat, can you let me know that you have a cat? Cause I'm really allergic to them. Um, and put your stuff in, in like a plastic baggie and let me know that you have a cat. That way I won't open the bag. <laughs> I would really appreciate it. Okay, so here's the note from Ashley. Hi Rose, I hope you carrots and camo are doing well. I have included donations for April and May. I hope you don't mind, not at all. Okay, so she says she's got two bags here and I don't believe she has any cats because I'm pretty sure, oh, she says on the bottom of the, of the note, she doesn't have any cats. <laughs> I didn't think so. Um, I watch her all the time and I've never heard her mention like uh, an animal. Okay, so she says, the fidget spinners are a pattern by Hooked for Life with Mary Beth Temple. Okay, so that's these little, these guys, which I love. These are mini versions of the ones that people have been sending in. You guys, it's like this never ending. You have to try and like pull, pull this thing out of the center and it never ends. Like you never win. It's like a Rubik's cube. <laughs> I love it. And I love these little ones because you could just like put this in your pocket. Ah, oh, Ashley, these are so cool. Thank you so much. Hours of enjoyment for people who crochet. <laughs> okay, so she said those are by Hooked for Life with Mary Beth Temple. The fidget key ring is from a tutorial by My Yarn Loft by Tansy. So it's a key ring and then it's got these beads that you can just spin around. 
Oh my gosh, I love, love, love this. I might have to make myself one. Um, and then she says, no pattern for the stress ball headbands or scrunchies. So there is a little stress ball. Ooh, that's nice. And then we've got some hair, hair scrunchies. So there's two of those right there. And then we've got some, ooh, really pretty hair ties. Look at that. So this is what we're talking about when we're talking about hair bands. Just decoratives that you can put on your hair. It's not to keep your ears warm. So there's one. These are really pretty. And she said, no pattern. They're gorgeous. Thank you, Ashley. And then she says, P.S. I don't have cats. I just felt like putting them in bags for some reason from Ashley. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ashley. I really appreciate it. You guys go check out her channel. She's super, super talented. I, and I really do appreciate it, Ashley. Okay, this next bag here comes from Christine and she's from Washington. And you guys, it's a purple bag. And I already know it's in here because Christine has a channel called Christine is Crocheting. And she already showed these on her channel. So I already know what she sent. Anyway, here's the sticker on the back of the card. And on the front, it says Rusty Approved Meow. She's got a kitty cat. So <laughs> she did put everything in, in baggies. And thank you so much, Christine. <laughs> Thanks so much. You don't have to thank me. I'm thanking you. Hi, Rose. I can't believe we are into May donations already. There are two scrunchies and two headbands. The washcloths are for your two friends. Thank you so much, Christine. So I will link her down below as well. And if you want to see what these look like, like held in person and not in a plastic bag go check out her channel she just showed them like a week ago I think so there's a headband there and then there is uh, scrunchies and she showed these also so there's two scrunchies in there I think there's two headbands in here there's this one and then there's one that's got yeah this yellow and that and then she's got one washcloth and two washcloths Thank you so much, Christine. I totally enjoy watching her channel. You guys have to go, <clears throat> excuse me, and check her out. She's, um, she, and her voice is so calming. Oh my gosh. Um, thank you again, Christine. I do appreciate it. All right. The next one here, I have all the bags here and then the boxes are on the floor. So there might be some pauses coming up. This next package comes from Terry and Terry is from Maryland. And I did not see a note in the bag, but there is a note on this bag. Dishcloths, no cats. Okay, so that means we can open the bag and see what she's got. So besides the dishcloth, she's got two hair scrunchies. Those are so nice. Thank you so much for those. Oh my gosh, Terry. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so this is a round dishcloth. Oh, I love that. I never thought about making round ones. Look at how pretty that is. I would not want to use that on my dishes. I would use that like on my face. <laughs> oh, this one's really pretty too. You guys, it's like a corner to corner back loop only. And look at the border. Oh my gosh, you guys are so talented. I just love all the stuff you send in. Here's another one, and this also has the shell border on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. Oh my gosh, Terry, thank you so much for sending these. I love them. This color is really nice too. Yeah, see, these are super soft. I would have to use these as like a, like a face cloth or a body wash cloth, not on my dishes. <laughs> Terry, thank you so much for the washcloths and the hair scrunchies. I do appreciate it. Okay, I got one more bag up here, and it's a big one here. And this one comes from Cherie, and she is from Virginia. Um, but I need to show you guys the stickers on the front. Hang on. Okay, you guys, so she's got this really big butterfly, which is awesome. And then the sticker here says, Warning, opening this package will cause extreme happiness. <laughs> so, Cherie, thank you so much. Okay, so she's got a couple bags here filled with things. And then there's this, which there's an, a card and a bag. And let's see what, oh, this is nice. Okay, let's see. Let's, oh, a little heart. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. I just love all of you. With appreciation, God has made you a blessing to many. Uh, for all the ways you let God's love shine through. Thank you from Cherie. Oh my gosh, gosh, Cherie. 
Okay, there's a big note here. She's probably telling us how what what all these are, what all these goodies are. Hold on, guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, hello, Rose and family. Wishing you a joyous and meaningful Passover. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, may the season bring you peace, prosperity, and freedom to your family. These are my donations for April. The worms are from different YouTube tutorials. I used the saying from one of your subscribers. Okay, so hold on. But, um, this is kind of noisy. Let me open this up. Hang on. Okay, I just emptied all the bags. <laughs> okay, so she said she used the saying from one of, one of our subscribers here. So I'm going to show you. Oh my God, I love these. Look at that. So I'll read the saying for you. Um, I got my saying from the Facebook group called Random Acts of Crochet Kindness, but you can probably Google it. It says, when you're feeling sad or blue and have a worry or two, you can tell one to your worm and watch those worries squirm. Just hold on tight and close your eyes and soon you'll realize your worries aren't so big and bad and you won't feel so very sad. So when you're feeling down and out and your worries are all about, just hold your worm and you will see how quickly you'll feel worry free. So that is what she has on all these worry worms. And they're big. You guys, I feel like inadequate. My worry worms were really small. <laughs> That's okay though, right? So we've got a lot. Oh my gosh. And some of these have like the ears, like the bunny ears. <gasps> Cherie, you stop it. Look at that. Look at that one. Oh my gosh, so colorful. Look at these eyes with the little eyelashes. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with these. Don't worry, I will I will turn them all in <laughs> to rings. I promise you I won't keep any. Look at this. I hope you guys can see it. It's kind of light out, so, uh, <laughs> so the, the lighting is kind of glary here. Oh my gosh, Cherie. And aren't these the funnest things to make? If you guys have a chance to make a worry worm, make a worry worm. They're so much fun to make. Oh my gosh. And then she's even got a sticker on there, handmade with love. And they take like so little yarn, you guys. Oh my gosh. I love them. Cherie, thank you so much for making all of these. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, a couple more, you guys. Look at that, see, it's just so easy to make them. Okay, and there is the last one. Okay, and then she says, the fidget flower, flower wristlets are from a tutorial by All My Crochet on YouTube. Okay, fidget flower wristlets. So that is these. So you can put them on your wrist and then you can, there's beads here and you can just fidget with the beads and turn them around. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. So we've got that one. Oh my gosh, Cherie, I need to make these. Look at this one with the big pink beads. I hope you guys can see them. And then there's this one here. And that I believe is Norma at All My Crochet. I actually met Norma. Oh my God, she's so tiny. <laughs> And then there is the last one of these. Okay, and then she says the silent backpack keychain poppers are from a tutorial by Kitten Mellow on YouTube. Okay, so keychain, uh, silent backpack keychain poppers. So it's this, and then I don't, oh, you know what? All you do is this. It's like one of those pop things, but it doesn't make any noise. That is so genius. Cause then you can sit there. Oh my gosh. See, I could play with this stuff all day long, you guys. This is terrible. <laughs> I mean, no, it's good. But the, these are, oh my gosh, these are so cool. Okay, it says <clears throat> it's by Kitten Mellow on YouTube. See, I'm just gonna play with all of them. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna play with all of them, but look at all these. They look like they'd be pretty easy to make, you guys. And they're silent, which it will be good for the teachers, right? Okay, she says, the other one was me trying to figure out the pattern for one with a marble or a bead. All yarn was from scraps. So here's this one, and it's just a circle, and there's a marble inside. And this one has two marbles inside. So you just sit there and you can move the marbles around. And this one has two marbles in there too. I know you guys can't like really see them, but like they're right there. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Okay, and then uh, there's some more uh, stress balls right here. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, 
here's a squishy squishy pal <laughs> that's a stress ball <laughs> i love them and then here is another stress ball oh my gosh these are perfect okay let's see the washcloths are made with Hobby Lobby and Premier Cotton. There's corner to corner ones and others are mini clusters from a free pattern by Daisy Cottage Design called the Pebble Beach Washcloth. I've enclosed a cute reusable bag for any upcoming yarn shopping days. Thank you for your continued support of Wings and helping the community go, grow through kindness towards others. Peace and love. Uh, P.S. I found the backpack stress toys and squishies in my tote. LOL. I thought I sent all the stress balls. <laughs> it's totally fine. Okay, so here, oh, there's another stress ball. Look at it. It's a piece of sushi. Oh my God, they're so cute. And here are the washcloths. Okay, so I'm going to hold them up. So this is corner to corner. I recognize this yarn. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I need to go check out that pattern. She said it's called Daisy Cottage Designs Pebble Beach Washcloth. I like that a lot. Okay, you guys, look at this one. And this is like the, I love this cotton and it's so soft. Look at that. Oh my gosh, Cherie, thank you so much. Oh, and here's the bag she sent. And I love these reusable shopping bags. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Cherie, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And yes, I hope that even if you guys don't, uh, aren't able to make donations for wings, there's quite a few other people that are talking about what they're accepting for donations. And I hope that you find somewhere, even if it's not from someone on YouTube, somewhere local that you can make donations. Okay. Now we have the boxes. So we have six boxes so let me clear off the table and then we'll get started on the boxes hang on all right you guys so then the next box or the first box that i open comes from betty in california or bet b-e-t-t-e and i have a card and she included a little note and the note says hello rose first off thank you for all that you do for wings and other needful charity organizations such as the one that is requesting 500 washcloths there are no washcloths included in this package but some will be coming soon under separate Cover. Thank you, Bet. It's no hurry and no worries. I enjoyed crocheting a few things that Wing has asked for in the month of May. Blessings from Betty. Oh my gosh. I hope I'm not mispronouncing that. Let me know. <laughs> All right. So we have two um, crocheted makeup bags. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. And look at the little tassel. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Look at how gorgeous that is. <gasps> Bet, thank you so, so much. I'm just going to call you Betty until I find out otherwise because, oh my gosh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Um, This one is so pretty too. Look at this, you guys. Look at the design on that. Like it looks like it's probably, I don't even know what stitch, but it's probably a really easy stitch, but it's just so textured and so pretty. Oh my gosh. And that it's stuffed with just like paper in there. Oh my gosh, Betty, those are gorgeous. Then we have some hair accessories. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I would totally wear that. <laughs> Although I did chop all my hair off, so I don't know that I could. <laughs> but, you know, imagine the people that you're giving these to. They probably don't have anything that's handmade. So I know that they appreciate everything that you guys do and everything that you send. I know that. And there is the last one. Oh, I like that. The little baubles. Betty, thank you so, so much for sending in the makeup bags and the hair accessories. <clears throat> you guys are, are really, really incredible. I don't know if you know that. Okay, so the next box comes from Lisa and she's from Alabama and she does have a note here. She says, hello, Rose. I enjoy your videos very much. I have been watching for approximately one year. Hi, Lisa. I currently live in Alabama, but I'm originally from Tennessee. I am sending you washcloths and hair scrunchies. The washcloths are knitted and the scrunchies are crochet. I hope these items help out and make someone's life a little easier. Thanks for all you do, Lisa. P.S. I do not have a cat, but I do have a dog. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. I love doggies. I love cats too, you guys. I'm just really allergic to them. I've tried. I tried to have a cat um, when I was much younger. Uh, I only lasted a day. Yeah, literally. <laughs> okay, so here are the scrunchies. Oh, I love this design. That is so cool. It's like little 
um, what do I want to say? I want to say Picos, but they're not Picos. I don't think they are. Those are so pretty. Thank you so much for those. And then she knitted the washcloths, you guys. I'm going to tell you a secret. I have knitted a washcloth before. It doesn't turn out this nice. <laughs> All right. So here is the first one. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at these. These are great. Lisa, these are absolutely amazing. Yeah, see, when I tried to knit a, a square washcloth, it turned out like way more of a rectangle, even than this one. And my intent was not to make it a rectangle. <laughs> and this is why I crochet now. <laughs> so Lisa, thank you so, so much for sending the washcloths and the hair scrunchies. I really, really do appreciate it. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next box comes from Lisa and she's from Wisconsin. And, aw, that's a really cute card. It says, thinking of you and believing in you. Aw, thank you so much, Lisa. She says, Rose, so happy to be able to contribute to Wings. Thank you for hosting this worthy cause, your neighbor to the north, Lisa. FYI, coming from a pet-free home. Okay, goody, then I, that means I can open up all of the bags. So there's bags of fidgets, 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 <laughs> fidgets, worry worms, pocket hugs. All right, so... Um, let me open these bags. Hang on. Okay, we're going to start with the first bag, which was worry worms. <laughs> There's so many of them, and they're so cute. So here's one of them, and then, you know what, I'm going to show you what the, what the little sign says in there, and I'll read it to you. It says, let your worry worm worry about your worries. I'm a crochet worry worm waiting here just for you. If I've made you smile, I can be your best friend too. When you're feeling sad a little bit low, hold me tight and watch your worries go. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. I love these. Like you guys, like you can make these any color, any size with eyes that you like. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It's got a heart shaped face. Stop it. This is like that fuzzy yarn. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. They're all so amazing. And just imagine like what kind of day you'll make for someone when they get one of these and they read it. I mean, if it's a little kid, they'll love playing with it, right? But like the adults can read them what the little, oh, this one, you can't see it. The adults will read to them what the, what it says. Look at that fuzzy yarn. Oh my gosh, I love this. There are so many of them. Oh my gosh. I just love these. Thank you so much for sending all of these worry worms. They're totally addicting to make, you guys. And it, we're not accepting them anymore, but I mean, these would be great for random acts of crochet kindness or like put them in like your kid's lunch bag. So that's it for the worry worms. There's so many. Okay, then the rest of these are, well, here, this one says pocket hugs. Oh, oh it's just a little knitted heart. Oh my gosh, you put it in your pocket. Hold on, you guys. There's two stacks of them. And they're little knitted hearts. And it's called a pocket hug. You shut the front door. Those are awesome. Oh my gosh. This one also says fidgets. And there are marbles in here. So there's a, yeah, there's marbles in these. So it's like two pieces you put a marble in there and sew them together and the person has to move the marble around. Oh my gosh, like such a genius idea. Okay, these also say fidgets. Oh, they're a different size and there's smaller beads in there. You guys, I could play for hours with this stuff. It's awesome. Oh my gosh, this one's round. You guys are so ingenious. Seriously, there's one. And then here is, oh, this is cool. So it's really just something to twiddle in your hands. Oh my gosh, I love these. Okay, this one also says fidgets. And let's see, these also have marbles in them. Yep, these have marbles in them. I hope you guys can see. I know I'm busy playing, but um, <laughs> these all have marbles in them. And then there's these guys which um, I love because these are like those in, you know, those ones that you can twist and turn and you can never finish it. Like it doesn't ever come out. Oh my gosh, look at all that. And there's this many more. 
Wow. So Lisa, thank you so, so much for sending all of these fidget toys. This is like probably my favorite thing are these little pocket hugs. And I'm so excited to be delivering these to Wings on Saturday. You guys have no idea the impact that you make on people's lives, but, and, and it's really awesome. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next box comes from Kim and she is from Georgia. And this is what her card says. It's a cat home. Oh, and there's a really pretty butterfly there. Thank you so much, Kim. And here's the card. Oh, I love it. It's so adorable. Life is nothing without friendship. Isn't that the truth? Okay. She says, hi, Rose. Thank you for all you do and giving our great yarny community a place to donate. May donation. All 100% cotton yarn. I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. Okay. So there's two scrunchies with no pattern. And you guys, you can um, find like a billion different ways to make these um, hair scrunchies on YouTube. So just search it. Yeah, but they're super easy and you can manipulate it however you want. Purple headband, which is in here. This one right here. She says it is a YouTube video by Crochet and Crafts Therapy. And then the blue beaded headband, braided headband, is a YouTube video by Crochet and Crafts Therapy also. I'll need to go check out that channel because I don't think I'm subscribed to that. And that one has like a hair tie. So you can make it adjustable to any size head. That is so cool. Then she says the burnt sienna makeup bag, no pattern. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I hope you guys can see that. No pattern. Uh, I'm not that talented. <laughs> I need patterns for stuff. Oh, this one I think I've tried before and I fail every time I try it. The blue makeup bag is a YouTube video by Simply Creative Crochet and more. And I'm, I think I've tried this one and have failed a couple of times because I have no patience for it. <laughs> and it is so pretty when it's done, but mm. okay. And then uh, she says 10 washcloths, varying sizes and patterns. Take care and God bless from Kim. So she does have a cat, so I'm not gonna open it up, but there's a bag of 10 washcloths in there. Kim, thank you so, so much for sending the washcloths and all of the accessories. Um, I'm sure the moms over there will totally, totally enjoy uh, everything that you guys have made for them. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next one is right here. This is from Joe from Arizona, and um, she already donated um, once in April for, well, in April for the April donations, and here are the May donations from her. Oh, look at these adorable makeup bags. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I love them. The cupcake is like a rainbow cupcake. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then we have some hair scrunchies. Oh my gosh. I love these. Thank you so much. Oh, this is gorgeous. <gasps> you stop it, Joe. Look at this headband. There's two of them just like this. That is like such intricate work. And then they have the hair ties so that it's adjustable for any size head. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Joe, are you kidding? Like, what did you use, like a bee hook? Like, I mean, this is tiny work, intricate detail, and it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then the rest of this box has washcloths. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. Look at all the washcloths. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen washcloths in here. Oh my gosh, Joe, thank you so much for sending the box of washcloths. And I really want to know what pattern you used for that. It's it's stunning. You are just magnificent, Joe. Thank you so much. Okay, we have one last box, guys. Hang on. All right, you guys. The last box I have is from Sharon, and she's from Wisconsin. And I have a cat alert. Cat alert. Oh, my gosh. Sharon, I got to meet you one day. One day. If, you, if you'll if you be up for the Hirschner sale, I think June 12th. Anyone who's going to go to that, let me know. <laughs> okay. So this is the card. And it says, sending kind thoughts your way. No, I'm sending kind thoughts your way. Just cat alert, cat alert. <laughs> okay. I love you, Sharon. Hi, Rose. First thing, I adopted a cat. 
<laughs> this winter. He does stay off my yarn, but loves to cuddle with his mom. Here is my donation for April. Tried out a few different patterns. I hope the kids like them. The packages all contain a slip with the patterns I used. Looking uh, forward to another wonderful, wonderful year with wings. We are blessed with talented crafters. Yes, we are. Thank you, Rose, for finding a great charity to share with. Your yarny friend, Sharon. Oh my God. Sharon, you're just incredible. I don't know how else to say this. Anyone who has sent anything to Wings is absolutely incredible. You're doing something so selfless and something that the person receiving your gift will never know who you are, but you still do it. So thank you all so much. Okay, let me show you Sharon's donations. Stress balls, there are 25 stress balls in here. And there you go, I'm just gonna show you the bag. Some of them are glittery. Oh my gosh, I love them. Sharon, thank you so much. Wow. Okay, and then we have five marble fidget toys. Shooting Star Crafts is uh, the where she got this from. So here is the bag, and there are marbles inside these little cylinders, and you just push the marble from one end to the other. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love them. What are these? Okay, this is uh, eight Jack of All Trades from Valerie's Cuddly Cat. Oh my gosh, you guys, check out Valerie's Cuddly Cat. So this is the same concept. So this is, there's a marble and you can move it from one side of the little jack to the other. And she said there's eight of them in here. Oh my gosh. Sharon, I just love it. I love it. I need to find, I need to win the lottery so I could stay home and do all this stuff. That's amazing. Okay, and this one is, uh, let me see. Oh, here's the note. 12 fidget go round toys from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. You guys just check out Valerie. Um, I think these are all uh, on her Etsy shop, Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. So these are really cool because there's like rubber bands in there and you can fidget with all this. And there's marbles on the inside of these rings too. Look at all of these. And how fun and colorful is that? That one even has a little bow on it. Look at all the rubber bands. So you could like pull them and stretch them and, oh my God, these are incredible. Sharon, I just love them. Okay, this one says 12 poppets and this is from the Crochet Fairy. And they look like a poppet toy. I'm trying to see if you can, oh, here we go. Okay, so they look like a poppet toy that you buy in the store, except they're crocheted and they won't make the, the popping noise. So all of these are those crochet poppets. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. This says four flexagon and it's by someone called Yarn Cindy. Yarn Cindy. And they look like that. Oh, so I need to go check that out. So I'm going to be writing down all of these channels. Uh, and going to look at them. Four pony bead fidget toys from J. Grace. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? So you could see that there's all the pony beads and those you can easily twist and fidget with those. Oh my God, those are incredible. Incredible. And this one says four fidget maze by Happy Rock Crafts. So, oh my God, that's so cool. So there is, a marble in there and you're supposed to move the marble through the maze in the crocheted part oh my gosh so I'm assuming which I know you're not supposed to do and it looks like there's two pieces that you make and you put the marble in there and then you crochet it around this is such a neat idea oh my gosh I love it I love it Sharon you're amazing 12 fidget balls from the crafts channel uh, Mock Het Met Miranda. Holy mackerel. That is a lot of fidget toys. I love it. So some of them have beads on them so you can fidget with the beads and those are crocheted right in there. And look at the bright colors. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is so much fun. 
And then we have, oh my gosh, 25 Worry Worms from Hooked by Robin, uh, Stark Crochet, and My Yarn Loft by Tansy. And I wish I could show you all of them, but I can't take them out. And she's even got these little choking hazard notes in here. So when they give them away, they can give them a little thing talking about the choking. And I'm pretty sure the choking hazard are the little eyes that are in there. Oh my gosh. And there's 25 of those. And then finally, Sharon, <laughs> Eight Googly Eyed Octopus Tutorial by Yarn Joy Podcast. That's Terry. Oh, I just love these. Someone donated something in the Last Wings update with these googly eyes and they said they got them. It was uh, Emma from New York, Emmy from New York. She said she got them from Amazon. I still haven't gone on there to get them. So there's eight of these guys. <laughs> Can you see them? I love that. Oh my gosh. I still have not been able to find, well, to buy the googly eyes and then to like go and do all these. But I need to because these are so much fun. Oh my gosh. Sharon, thank you so much for sending all of those items. That box was huge. I appreciate everyone. I appreciate all that you guys do. I appreciate it if you like and share this video. I appreciate it if you can leave a positive comment down below. And I look forward to seeing what everyone else brings for May and June. So remember, May are the hair accessories and June are the diaper bags. And there's a limit of two of each per person. So um, I just I totally enjoy you guys so much and I appreciate everything you do. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.